Now let me explain to you a little bit more about the Stan Utley learning curve. What's fantastic about this is that it enables you to work on your technique without getting too much technical thoughts in your head and that's very critical when it comes to putting. What I like most about this is it enables you to work on your stroke even if you're away from the golf course as well and that's really valuable for some of you people that are not able to go and play as much as you might like. The nice thing here is that we want good mechanics and the easiest way to get good mechanics is to get some feedback. Now that's either working with a coach and if you can't afford to work with a coach every day, using something like this is going to make a big difference to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you watch part of Stan Utley's video where he explains a little bit about the setup, let you understand a little bit of the science behind it, and then I'll come back and tell you some more about my thoughts. Let me show you how to use your learning curve. When I'm given a lesson, the, the neat thing about the learning curve is it really has several applications. What I do first is have people understand that we've created a plane board that's situated at a 68 degree angle. I fit people's putters all the time. The lie angle of the putter really determines the path of the stroke. I believe I'm going to swing my putter on the shaft plane. So what the learning curve does, it allows you to put the heel of your putter up against the plane board so that when you swing, as you go up, you're actually going in on both sides of the stroke. So that's really the first thing I have people realize that they can gain a benefit with the learning curve, understanding that even though this plane board looks straight, because when they swing up, they're going in on the back swing as well as the through swing. The common mistake really is people that maybe are taking it outside on the back swing or the through swing, they'll have a difficult time keeping the heel of their putter on the plane board. Once they find the rhythm of that, they'll begin to understand, oh, okay, that's what swinging on plane means. Okay then, so you've watched Stan explain some of the technical things behind the learning curve. Now you tell, let me tell you some of the things that I really like about it. If you can develop your technique and get confidence in your technique without thinking too much about the technical side of things, it really does help your brain to go out there and putt confidently. <clears throat> what you're able to do, and anybody can do this no matter what standard you are, whether you're an aspiring professional for the PGA Tour or whether you're you know, a new beginner, you've just got to rest the heel against the learning curve and it's going to create that perfect art for you on the way back, the putter's perfect there, and then as we take the putter through, again in a perfect position. So if you go and make a hundred strokes on this learning curve every day, you really will start to develop an awesome putting stroke and that's so simple for you to go and do. I mean I've got six balls here and I really feel as long as I line them up correctly I feel like I can go ahead and very simply just roll all six into the middle of the hole you know and I'm 20 feet out here and you can certainly see there's no cuts. In goes the first one and I know that it's going in from quite a long way out it's very easy because I know my stroke is right on that perfect line Again, in goes the second one. Very, very simple for me to do and awesome for my confidence this is. Just over and over again, just really good strikes. Bang, down it goes again. Oh, just lips out. But do you know what? I don't even mind lip outs because I'm chasing down the hole. I really am giving the ball an awesome chance to go into the cup. You know, there's four. I could continue on with this, but that's building some really awesome confidence for me. My stroke is right online, you can see the results. There's not many things that will give you this sort of consistency. So that's why I like this part of it so much. Now, as Stan has explained, what's really nice about the learning curve is that there's some other features that you can practice your stroke as well. Now, this is a really nice thing because you'll be surprised at how the toe of your putter works, the arc that it works on, so you can practice how your arms move down and through. And again, the more you can start resembling the stroke that you want, the better it's going to be. Now easily, you can just unclip this. And now we can put the putter in this position and again, work on the different strokes here. You can see looking down at the lines, you can work through and you can see your putter, how it should work through your stroke. And the final thing, as Stan's just mentioned, that's really nice about the learning curve, is you've got this alignment stick here, so we can get the ball set up beautifully again. And we can just make some strokes off here, knowing that we're aligned really good to the hole. The more consistent we can become with aiming the putter, the more consistent we can come with hitting putts like this. 
really good chance for it to go in. So it's really good to use all of these features. The nice thing is you can practice this away from the golf course, but this is really gonna help you develop a good stroke. Now, unless you've got the time or the money to get a professional to stand behind you all the time, using something like this is gonna accelerate your game to a level that maybe you can't imagine. So think about something like this because the mechanics of your stroke will definitely improve. Now that's the Stan Utley learning curve, but a fairly nifty final bit is you want to keep it nice and safe and sound. So you've got a pretty cool cover here that you can just pop it in, easy to transport with you to the golf club or take it to the office, do a bit of sneaky practice. And there it is, simple. So something like this is going to help you develop the mechanics of your game. There you go, that's all I can tell you about it. <laughs>